On the south bank of the Ile de la Cité in Paris is a world-famous example of French Gothic architecture, the mother church of the nation, Notre Dame. As early as the time of the Celts and the Romans, there have been temples here, a fact that makes the location of this cathedral a truly historic site. It is believed that the origin of the richly decorated Episcopal Cathedral of Notre Dame dates back to the time of Bishop Maurice de Sully in 1163. But the majority of the cathedral's present-day architecture with its strange and fantastic creatures of ancient mythology such as the Shamiras was designed in the 19th century. Menacing creatures sit on the balustrades of the cathedral high above the ground. They date back to ancient mythology and are of Gothic design. Important scenes and images of Christian belief were placed in the lower sections of the church in order that they would be easily seen. Construction of Notre Dame in the 12th century was extremely complex and demanding. Indeed, it continued well into the 14th century. In 1345, most of the work on this impressive cathedral and its Gothic portal, which is regarded as one of the most beautiful in the world, was finally completed. Various illustrations of the Bible are contained within the magnificent main facade of the three portals, and they're also included in the windows. The demon-like Shamiras in the upper regions of the church peer down almost mockingly at the Christian sculpture and decor below. The church owes much of its fame to the famous French author Victor Hugo and his book The Hunchback of Notre Dame, a great classic of French literature. The stone chimeras are reminiscent of the book's main character, Quasimodo. Over the years, this literary masterpiece has been synonymous with this remarkable cathedral in the heart of Paris. For many years, Notre Dame was in rather poor repair, and this was so at the time when the book was first published. And 
when the revolution swept across the country, it affected most aspects of the French way of life. The cathedral's external figures and decorations were either destroyed or pillaged. Even the valuable religious treasures from within the church were stolen by the revolutionaries. However, during the course of time, numerous sacred works of art were returned to the cathedral and many of its colourful windows were restored. Even though in the 19th century some of the windows were restored in an idealized way, the overall impression is still breathtaking. The remarkable and beautifully designed rose windows in the transept are particularly noteworthy. Each is original and dates back to 1270 AD. Next to the entrance to the choir, is a famous statue of the Notre Dame de Paris, a masterpiece of 14th century French sculpture. The sculpture of Jean d'Arc has also found its home within the interior of the cathedral. Following her rehabilitation in 1455, the famous French heroine was ceremonially installed within Notre Dame. For the French nation, the historic importance of this impressive monument is inestimable. It was from here that a crusade once set off. It was a place of coronations and royal wedding ceremonies, including that of King Francis II and Mary Stuart in the 16th century. In 1804, Napoleon Bonaparte was crowned emperor here by Pope Pius VII on this famous island in the River Seine, the Ile de la Cité.